Thank you for buying this Trident circular saw. Firstly, check over all the components visually. Now remove the cable tie and check the lead. If any items are damaged or missing, return the product to your retailer. Ensure the saw is disconnected from power, then place the saw on its side on your workbench or a similar surface. Using the 6mm hex key supplied, remove the arbor bolt, turn it in the direction of the blade rotation. Remove the bolt and outer arbor washer. Before mounting the new blade, clean the saw blade flanges thoroughly. Place the new saw blade onto the spindle ensuring that the direction in which it rotates is the same as the arrow marked on the blade housing. Replace the outer arbor washer and bolt and tighten using the hex key. Check the safety devices are in good working order and turn the blade by hand a few times to check it runs freely. Then run the machine under no load for 30 seconds or so to check it runs smoothly before using it to cut any material. Always check that the saw is unplugged from the mains before making any adjustments. To adjust the depth of cut, loosen the depth adjustment locking lever. Lift the back of the saw away from the base plate until the blade is at the right depth. Push down on the locking lever to lock the saw in position. Use the micro depth adjustment knob, if needed, to make a more precise adjustment. Turn clockwise to decrease the depth, turn anti-clockwise to increase the depth of cut. The adjustment range is 6 mm. To adjust the bevel angle, loosen the front and rear bevel lock knobs. To set the saw at one of the preset stops, at 0, 15, 22 and a half, 30 and 45 degrees, Depress the bevel detent latch and pivot the saw to the angle required. Release the detent latch. Any small movement of the saw will allow the latch to pop up into the detent position. Retighten both locking knobs to lock the saw at the angle required. Ensure that the saw is set at zero 
and the bevel detent latch is engaged. Using a 10mm spanner, loosen the rear bevel lock knob and the nylock nut on the bevel micro adjustment lever. Adjust the trimmer to the left or right until the blade is square to the base plate or to the Triton table. Tighten the lock knob and nut after any adjustments. You can attach a dust bag or vacuum system to the dust extraction port. Put on all safety equipment required to use this tool. Plug the tool into the mains. Ensuring that the blade is not in contact with the material, depress the lock off button and squeeze the trigger. Allow the blade to reach full speed. Using both hands, Slowly push the saw forward into the workpiece. Use a steady, even pressure. Forcing the saw causes rough cuts and may cause kickback. After completing the cut, release the trigger. Ensure the saw is unplugged before fitting the fence. You can use the rip fence on the left or right hand side of the blade. Loosen the parallel fence locking knob located at the front of the base plate. Slide the parallel fence through the fence slots. Set the fence at the required width and secure in position by re-tightening the fence locking knob. Before making a cut, ensure that the entire length of the fence rests against the workpiece to obtain a consistent parallel cut. Put on all the safety equipment needed to use this tool and plug the saw into the mains. Adjust the depth of cut and bevel angle as required. Align the laser line with the line of cut on the workpiece. Grip the saw firmly by both handles. Start the motor by depressing the knockoff button and squeezing the trigger. Make your cut, keeping the laser beam in line with your pencil line. Ensure the tool is switched off and the plug removed from the power point before carrying out any adjustments or maintenance. Regularly check that the saw arbors and arbor washer are clean and free of build up of any deposits.
regularly check the saw blade for flatness. Using a buckled blade places excessive load on the motor and may invalidate your warranty. Relubricate all moving parts at regular intervals. Clean the body of the saw with a soft damp cloth. Never use caustic agents. Inspect the brushes periodically and replace when worn. With the saw disconnected from power, unscrew the brush caps on either side of the motor. Remove the brushes by pulling carefully on the protruding springs. If either of the brushes is worn to less than 6mm long, replace both brushes with genuine Triton spares. Available from your retailer or from www.toolsparesonline.com.